you said they had their medicine squaw with them. Well, they did have when I seen them. There and two more squaw. Must split up someplace. That loses us nearly $500 for her scalp alone. <laughs> Not if we go get her. Hutch? What? What'd you say these things are for? Uh, some sort of celebration. It's supposed to keep away harm. Don't work so good, do they? <laughs> You the comical one, huh? Smells sober, too. Are you sure you ain't a mirage? Sam, why don't you just go about your business and don't be bothering us private citizens? <laughs> Simon! Simon Carter! Oh, how are you, Miss Barkley? Oh, it's good to see you. Oh, thank you. Well, it's been just about a year, I guess, huh? You look wonderful. Ah, oh, I feel fine. You two, I haven't, uh, haven't had a drink since you left. Hey, well, hardly. <laughs> I did have a few on, uh, I think, the 4th of July and uh, a couple of other international holidays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I uh, put new shade on the wagon. Well, it looks brand new. Well, I just got around doing it yesterday, but I remember that you'd ask for one, you know? You fixed up a lot of things at the mission. Father Andre wrote and told me. He's very grateful. Well, I just figured I'd keep an eye on things out there for you while you was away, you know. Uh, is this the stuff for the mission? Yes. Up, sir. Hey, see. <laughs> yeah, that thing's heavy. What do you got, medicine in there? Yes. Must be lead loose. I didn't know better. I think you got a bunch of awful county Indians out there. Tell me about the hunting. Did you have a good season? Oh, tolerable. Miss Barkley. Tolerable. Actually, miserable, to be closer to the truth. I didn't have me but about two parties all year. Oh, I'm sorry, Simon. Now, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of that hunting and guiding business anyway. There you go. Traipsing around the country, up and down the hills. Running after a bunch of mangy animals. Shaking your boots out every morning. Get the bugs and the lizards out of them. When did you start carrying all these rifles? 
Oh, well, why don't I just kind of have them around in case, you know? It's... Oh, well, well, sometimes when you get you get a bunch of dudes coming in from the east, they want to go hunt or something, they, they come out here, they don't bring no guns, no nothing with them at the time. Okay? Okay, get it up, Herman. Peaceful here every year. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Huh? What is it, Simon? Yakis. I can smell that stinking bear grease they use to keep the bugs off them. Yakis? Yeah. Sure. I've been coming across the border in droves ever since that Senor Diaz took over the Mexican government. Well, did you read about it in newspapers? Yes, but I didn't think any of them were in this area. That's why I brought them extra rivals. Ah! Hey, what I tell you? They must have took Bart Andre prisoner. Prisoner? Oh, by heaven's sake, Simon, they're nothing but young girls. Yachties is Yachties. They're dangerous. Even them little short ones and papooses. <laughs> oh, Simon. <laughs> I thought I heard the buckboard. Simon didn't tell me you were ill. Oh, I'm not. It's just a touch of lumbago. Such a pleasure to see you, my dear. It was good to see you, too. Uh, Padre, what are them yakis doing out there? I was trying to keep that as a surprise. So I've been going over to their camp, tending the sick. Well, finally, they're coming here. All the chiefs. The chiefs? We're going to have a feast. The women are here to prepare it. But that's wonderful, Father. Wonderful? What's wonderful? I have brought the milk of the goat, Father. It will give you strength. That's very kind of you, my dear. Oh, Siataki, these are my good friends, Victoria Barclay and Simon Carter. Siataki is the tribe's medicine woman. Father Andre has told us often of his good friends. I will cool the milk. Padre, are you sure you know what you're doing? Huh? Bringing them Yaki chiefs here? And then on top of that, that, that Yaki medicine woman? Don't you know she's just like waving a, a lucky rabbit's foot in front of them hostiles? And another thing, anybody with half an eye can see the girl's been... You, pardon the expression, Miss Barkley, in a, in a family way. And if everything should happen no, to her... It's going to happen, Simon, now believe me. Come, Victoria, you've had a long trip. Let's have some tea. Ooh. Father. No, it's not here. Let me sit here for a minute. No, no, don't be alarmed, my dear. Now, we're going to take you to town so you can see the doctor. Simon, would you fix a place on the buckboard? There's too much to do. The Yaki chiefs will be here any moment now. Simon, I tell you, they're peaceful. Peaceful? Zazu, they're peaceful. That's why the Mexican government put a $200 a head bounty on every one of their scalps. No, the safest thing for you is to get you back on board that stage, Miss Bogley. You'd be a lot better off there. Now, come on, this is no place for a lady. You take my word. We'll get the padre to the doctor in town there, and then you head on back to your family. It... Now, I was looking forward to this visit, Miss Barkley. Really, I was. But I certainly ain't going to get no pleasure out of it, knowing that you might get your throat cut any minute. Now, come on. <laughs> Now he has a couple of broken ribs. He can't be moved for a few days. Well, anyway, it's a good thing you got him to see the doctor. On those ribs, you know, they could punch a lung or something. That's true. Well, we better be getting back. Back? Back when? Well, to the mission, of course. The mission? Now, Miss Barkley, you're not going to go back there. You'll know them Yankees. Why not? Father Andre does. Now, believe me, Miss Barkley, I know what I'm talking about. I know them Yankees. Me, I went prospecting one time with an old miner friend of mine. He trusted them, too. We let a bunch of them share our campfire one night. As soon as we was better down, they jumped us. They tied me up tighter than a dick. 
and he spent the rest of the night peeling the skin off him alive. Yeah. Come the morning, it was going to be my turn, only I got lucky. I worked myself loose, and I got me out of there. Well, that's awful, son. But the situation is different now. Them Yankees have hated the white man for 200 years. Now, you think just you doctoring them for a few weeks is going to change all that? No. But keeping faith with them for a change might help. No, you got the same dang fool notions you had when I met you a year ago. You know what you're going to do, huh? You're going to get both of us killed. Oh, I don't think they'll kill us, Simon. But I certainly don't expect you to take the risk. You just drive me back to the mission. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure, come on. Drive you back there and leave you out there by yourself to maybe get your gizzard cut out or something like that, huh? Miss Barkley, how could I do a thing like that? Oh, maybe a year ago I might have been able to do it. I don't... When I first met you, you know, I... Well, I, I really didn't like you too much. Um, uh, things are different, and and I, I owe so much to you. Owe me? What do you mean? Well, when you first met me, I was kind of <laughs> sloppy. I, I I didn't take too much interest in myself. You told me that, remember? And, and then I used to... I made pretty good. I a couple of drinks. I oh, would not that I couldn't have cut it out myself on my own if I wanted to, you know. It's just that you pestered me into, into quitting it before I... <laughs> All right, move on. Go on, get over there. Go on, back out to the mission before you test me after death. Come on, Hyman, get through. Found the tracks. Three squaws. Head for that old mission I was telling you about. How far is it? A couple of hours ride? Let's go. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Hey, ain't you, uh... Huh. Simon Carter. That's my handle, yeah. Well, I met you down to the Pecos River last year. Oh, my big buffalo hunt. Yeah. <laughs> These here's my new hunting part. This here's Mitchler. Likewise, I'm sure. And that there's Rui. I'm up here. senor, see. Uh, well, we was just passing and uh, wanted to see if maybe you could spare some water. Sure, help yourself out right with that. Uh, take care of it, will you, boy? Are you stopping here? Oh, it just happened out. You know, the Padre's all by himself alone out here. That lonesome for just one old man, ain't it? Yes, boy. You see the horses. Try to get a look inside. Come in. What, uh... What are you doing around these parts? We're going after that buffalo herd in Canyon Gap. 3,000 head. Biggest one sighted in years. You don't say. Gee, I'm surprised you don't know about it. We catch up with them, we're going to bag us enough hides to make a couple of thousand apiece. Zazu. Sure sounds like the old days, don't it? Huh? Hey, it does, don't it? Hey, you ought to come along with it. We could use another gun. Well, I, I had to go into town to get my gear. Oh, we'll wait for you. Well, now, I don't know about that. What would the Padre be in sick and all? You know, maybe I ought to stick around it and bring him back from the doctor. Well, uh, can't somebody else do it for you? Ain't nobody else, except Mrs. Barkley. Oh? Well, that's too bad. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, heard there's some Indian squaws here selling Yaki Bluestone. My partners and me want to buy some. This is a medical mission. We don't sell anything. I'm sorry to bother you. It will make a fine papoose board, will it not? Very fine. Perhaps it will carry a great medicine, Chief. One to keep my people safe. I hope so.
to see them? No. They gotta be in that mission somewhere. All set, Hutch. Well, we better be going. Still wish you'd come along with us. <laughs> the more hide, the bigger the split. Sure. Hey. hey, I got an idea. Now, we're gonna be traveling slow to keep the horses back. You know, following them water holes. If you change your mind, you can catch up with them. Nah, I just might do that. Good. <laughs> Mr. Hutch. We'll see. Good boy. want here? It's just watering up on the trail of a big buffalo herd. One of them was carrying a scalp pouch. That's a lot. Lots of hunters carry them. I got one myself. I saw him wet it down as if there were scalps in it. Scalps? Land of Goshen. What a notion. You wet down a lot of things. You wet down bacon, hardtack, lots of things other than scalps. One of them came inside. He asked if there were any yakis here. Maybe he's just edgy about him. Oh, no, him, no, he wasn't edgy, Simon. I think he was trying to find out if Siataki and her women were here. Oh, well, what made you think a thing like that? Your woman's in or something? Well, he didn't see them, of course. Well, then but... what's there to worry about? They're gone, ain't they? That doesn't mean they won't come back. With the bounty on scalp so high... Miss Barkley, I told you they're buffalo hunters. I know one of them. I rode with them down the Pecos River country. Maybe, but I wish we could be sure. Look, I can't go poking my nose into somebody else's pouch just on account of your woman's intuition. I might get it shot off. Well, I think we ought to be ready for them just in case. You mean fought up? Oh, now, look here, Mrs. Barkley. Now, forting up is hard work. I ain't got Simon. the physical stamina. Simon, how many years has it been since you heard of Buffalo this far south? Now, you just love to pester me, don't you, huh? And you're going to drive me right into exhaustion. Right downright into downright exhaustion, Miss Barkley. Everyone ever figured the price of that stock didn't include delivery? Ah, come on, Nick. You're just not much of a horse trader. Now, Heath, you never figured out either. Well, Castelogo's not that far away. It's still a bargain. Packed enough food for two days. By that time, you should be there. I sure hate to leave you, sis. With Jared in Sacramento, mother at the mission, it's going to be kind of lonely around here. Wish you weren't going. We got to. Got to pick up that stock. We'll be back as soon as we can. Say, why don't you go down to the mission with Mother? Then you two can come back together. That's a good idea. You can catch a train to Kearney and then pick up a stage there. Better than staying alone. Come on, there's room in the buckboard. But there's no telegraph office at Sand Hill. They won't know I'm coming. So what? Surprise them. I'll be ready in five minutes. That means 15. Shame shaking up good wine with no good reason. Well, there'd be plenty of good reason if those men come back and rush us. Yeah, that'll be trouble. These barrels of wine get shot up. Well, I'd rather have them shot up than us. Simon, there are three of those men. I'm just trying to cut down the odds. Now, we'll take turns keeping watch. I'll see you at midnight. Hey, them squaws know we're standing watch. Oh, no, no, they're asleep. I didn't want to frighten them. <laughs> they try sneaking up on us. They're going to be in for a dandy surprise, huh? Oh. Old woman. Will they start peeling our skin off? Hey, 
They must have got wise. They got that whole place locked up tighter than a drum. Told you Carter wouldn't believe that buffalo story. I think we should go get this squash. It does not make no difference. He's a dead shot. Oh, without cover, he'd cut us down like sheep. That Yaki tribe finds them dead chiefs. We'll have more than Carter to worry about. They'll be swarming all over here, killing every white man in sight. We'll wait. Sooner or later, he'll leave to check out them buffalo. What makes you so sure? <laughs> He's a hunter, ain't he? Slips off me knee when she hits the floor. It ain't there anymore, cause her rosé's a size. 43. Uh, it's... <laughs> it's Barkley. Seems to me I've heard that once or twice before. <laughs> Simon, somehow the goat got up on the roof last night. Would you get her? She needs milking. Why don't you let one of them squaws go get a dime? I, I ain't too partial to go. I told you, I don't want them to go outside. Those men might be watching. All right, all right. I'll see to it as soon as I finish shaving. Whew. Hey, Nanette. Hey, Nanette, Nanette. Ha, ha. Smell you, I can't see you. Hey, Nat. Oh, there you are, huh? I'll name it John Hayes as you get up there. Oh, you. Oh, what do you think you are, anyway? Mountain goat or something? You got no business being up there. On the roof? Come on, you come on down here with Uncle Simon. Yes. Now, don't you be a ninny, nanny. <laughs> You're comical, huh? Come on along now, Uncle Simon, you hear me? Get your nice, fresh tin can of chalk. Oh, 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 man. I ain't getting back. Oh, this is the, the end. I can, the goat should be bounded at somebody's fireplace. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Pretty in the morning. Uh, Simon? Uh, Theotaki says you fell off the roof. Honorary Billy got to try to butt me up. <laughs> Barkley! I ain't got any pants on. Well, are you all right? Like, I could have killed myself if I fell plumbing a cactus bush and them needles. You know, they could poison you to death. Well, did you get all the needles out? Yes, I think so. Well, let me see. Please, Barkley, please. Ain't you got no shame at all? <laughs> well, my dear Miss Barkley, you just about seen me handle this. Oh, in your pasture, cousin. No time. Just about no time at all. See how much you... What up? What's around here? Well, I've got apples. Oh, Simon. Wake up. Wake up, Simon. What? What's the matter? Oh. Alex, Get up. The floor is damp. I'm a Jackie Chiefs attacking. Oh, they haven't even arrived yet. You're drunk, that's all. No, no, I am not drunk at uh, all. What would you call it? Well, I may just... Ow! Ooh! Be careful, will you? I'd like to split my head clean open. That might... At the moment, yes. A man's got a right to have a few couple of little drinks if he wants. No, you haven't. Not while those girls' lives are in danger. In danger? Ah, we've been fought it up here all night. We haven't even seen a little bitty goddess snake. 
Them squaws, them's the ones that's dangerous. All right. All right, what'd you expect, huh? Pester me half to death about them Meiji Indians, make me lose out on a nice buffalo hunt. Anybody get drunk. Nonsense. You're just using that as an excuse because you want to leave here. You've been doing that all your life. Whenever something comes up you don't want to face, something distasteful, you soak yourself in alcohol. Oh, is that so, huh? Soak myself in alcohol. Well, just let me tell you something. Yeah, and I suppose I was soaked in alcohol last year when you were stumbling around the desert lost. And I had to come and find you because you're too bullheaded to take my advice, huh? Well, let me tell you, that time you was kind of distasteful to me. Well, I suppose even Beelzebub had good qualities. Who? Beelzebub who? The devil. Oh, look, Miss Barkley, now you got no right to cuss me out. Simon, I know you're brave, Simon, and I'm grateful you saved my life, very grateful. But you had no business getting drunk when those girls' lives depended on you. No, the only business I got is to worry about them sneaky Indians and them smelly goats and any other kind of mangy varmints that might come down the, the pike. Well, I tell you, I ain't going to worry about them because nobody worries about me. That's another one of your excuses. You don't want anybody to worry about you because you don't want to face responsibility. You're too lazy and too stubborn. Selfish. You don't want to give. All you want to do is take. You haven't changed a bit. Are you quite finished? Well, that's a fine way for you to talk to me. After all I've done to please you. Let me tell you. You pestered me for the last time, Miss Barclay. Yes. You pestered me once too often. Just once too often. Good day to you, Mrs. Victoria Barkley. Two fellas is gone for a little clippity clop. They're coming, hurry. Now remember. Don't make a sound and don't come out, no matter what you hear. Do you understand? But if these men are evil, you will be in danger. It's you they want, not me. Now hurry. What is it? I... It is nothing. Hold it. Hold it right there. What do you want? Just a little water, though, old man. You got water when you were here before. Well, water goes quick in this here heat. I wouldn't try that if I were you. Now, you get on your horse and ride out. I said ride out! <laughs> We know them squaws is in there. There ain't no sense in trying to keep us out. You only just get hurt. <laughs> Chihuahua, the senora, she should pretty good. I think she mean business with that gun. Yeah, Hutch. What are we gonna do now? Wait for her to ride out? Oh, shut up. It's probably your fault she got wise and locked the place up anyway. Don't try covering your tracks with my boots. Well, you probably said something when you went inside to look around. I want to take them squaws' eyes and go, so did Ruth. Oh, yeah, so did Ruth. Bueno, so did... bueno. I can get us no place. Yeah, you're right. Let's ride in, shoot, and take them right now. Well, now, uh, that, uh, ain't gonna get the mission doors open now. 
Is it? Especially her shooting back at us. You get a better idea? I will have. <laughs> All right. We'll ride on back. Before we're doing the shooting, we'll see if she'll listen to a little reason. That gal ain't gonna listen to no reason. She don't. There'll be plenty of time to kill her. Hear, do you understand? No matter how bad the pain is, they must not hear. I, I understand. You hear me? I'll hold it for the last time. You're going to talk or not? What do you want? We don't mean no harm to you, lady. All we want is them old dirty squaws. You just send them out and we'll be right on our way. I'm not sending anybody out. And you better leave before Simon gets back. Uh. <laughs> hey, well, Simon ain't coming back. And you know it. He's out chasing buffalo and ain't there. You gonna send them out? No, I'm not. And you get out of here. <laughs> even if you buried them. Gonna tell us where them squaws is? Or do I start carving on this pretty little filly of yours? Oh! What was that? Sounds like it's down here. Uh, maybe you did bury him. Open that up. <laughs> you 
You lied, old Hutch, didn't you? Well, hold it right there. Get him up. Hold through here. You all right, Miss Barkley? I'm fine. I'm not hurt, Mother. I don't understand. I'll explain later. Oh, Simon, I'm so glad you came back. Oh, well, yeah. I hate to admit it, but... You was right about them buffalo. They rode halfway to Canyon Gap. Not a sign of them, but I did see some tracks doubling back. Their tracks. I figured you might need me. Uh, where'd that one come from? Oh, this is my daughter, Audra. Hello. Likewise, I'm sure. You got enough trouble with one female, you got to team up, ride double saddle, the best of me, huh? Simon, excuse me. There's a baby about to be born. Well, they was down there, huh? <laughs> the mother of yours. Ain't there nothing she can do? <laughs> She's something. She's really something. And so, dear father, we ask, please, that you help them find some, some peace, some kindness. Really got it coming to him. Oh, uh, yes, and one more thing. Uh, would you make sure that they know how, uh, how awful sorry we all are? Amen. That was very nice, son. Thank you, Miss Barkley. I certainly ain't no match for Father Andre, but I guess it was a halfway decent burial, huh? Yes. We owe much to your brave heart. When this moon ends, you will come to our camp to become blood brother to our chief. My tribe will be honored to have such a brave Yaki warrior. That's a real honor, Mr. Carter. From what I understand, that means they consider you a great hero. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I'm uh, mind that so much, but uh, I sure never figured I'd wind up being a Yaki. Neither did I, Charlie. Neither did I. <laughs> 